Time to do a little bit of herping on this beautiful fall day in New York. It's about 70 degrees out and yeah, this is the spot you're probably getting a little tired of seeing by now. Maybe, I don't know. I come here a lot. This is the best spot that I have. So, and especially in this time of year too. And it is just beautiful out. The leaves are changing and wind rustling through the leaves. I just love this time of year. Halloween's my favorite holiday, guys. But um, also, I love it because of the herping. The great herping that we got. Uh, let's um, I'm gonna take you with me. Let's see what we got. This is the first flip. See, look at that. What did I say? Got um, two red belly snakes. <clears throat> Larger brown phase. And then a smaller, uh, smaller gray. Look at that. First flip. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get lots of snakes today, guys. There's no question. No question. Put the rock back down. Put the snakes back as per protocol. And there we go. Put the rock next to it. Nothing under that one. Nothing under that. Oh, I'm wrong. There's a, yet again, a red belly. Can you spot it, guys? Find the herp. It's not my desire to have to pick up every snake I find, but when, when they're under a rock, I just feel so much better about um, picking them up before putting the rock down. I'm just so paranoid of squishing one of these little guys. Mold underneath that one. I wouldn't be hanging out under there either. There's a garter snake. Check that out. Already, I mean, uh, timestamp on my phone here. It's, it's three minutes, just under three minutes, and I've already found four snakes. So this is naturally the place to go. And yeah, you might be like, oh, well, you know, I saw you catch uh, red bellies and garters in your last video, but guys in New York State, you just don't have the diversity you have out west or down south, and you really have to just uh, roll with it and appreciate what you can find. Said, you never know. For every uh, for every garter or red belly, you might just find um, a smooth green milk snake or one of the other more hard to come by snakes in the area. Here's two more snakes, another red belly, and another garter that gardener took off. Here's the red belly. They're so tiny, but beautiful, beautiful little snakes. So right there. Oh, there's a mess. Look at that. Three garter snakes and a red belly. Look at that. It's a pretty garter. They're all taken off now. Move this rock. They're all over my shoe. And under my shoe. You guys can go back under your rock now. All is well. But yeah, I'm going to get out my other camera and get some better shots of these guys.
Look at this pretty one. It's a garter snake. They're, they're, they're quite variable. Let's pick this one up and take a look at it though. Some of them are real, you know, got like nice defined yellow stripes down them. This one's almost like a chocolatey brown color. Beautiful. Beautiful uh, brown phase red belly right here. Look at that. He's kind of got like some uh, white spotting down the sides there. And then there's the gray. So that they're sitting there together, but I figure you might want to look at the two of them next to each other. Same species. Both got that red belly, see? But uh, just different color variations. Another common species, but uh, this is the third one for the day here. Uh, this is the Decay Brown, of course. Uh, same genus as the red belly snake, actually, and there are some similarities there, you can see. Uh, this one's particularly pretty. I like the patterning coming down about down the halfway mark along the body. Very pretty, pretty little snake. Here, look at this one. This is a big, beautiful red belly. A lot like that other one I just caught. Look at the white speckling down the side. So much variation in these things. Look at that, beautiful. And you can see the similarity with the brown snake too, which is in the, like I said, the same genus as these guys. Um, got a little bit of those markings behind the head there. But she's beautiful. Almost like a caramel color. Let's take a look at her belly. She's not going to like that. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. snakes under this flip and one of them is the smallest smooth green I've ever seen. Look at them taking off. That's a baby. This is a little baby. I'm going to pick him up. Check that out. Oh man. I was starting to lose hope that I'd even find a smooth green today. But look at that. Perfect little snake. Feisty too. Clearly not uh, interested in being held. And check out, you know, check out this guy too. Let's take a look at him. That is another red belly snake. But go back and look at the other ones I've looked at. This one's again like a totally different color. This one's beautiful, gorgeous. Look at this perfect little snake. Check it out, how many snakes are under this rock, huh? Give you a minute. Four, at least four, that I can see. Here we have, that's a red belly. That's a red belly. That's a decay brown. And that's a red belly, check that out. Great flip. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.